What's up guys? We have tested many different mini PCs on our channel Tech Brothers, but we have never had one like this before. This is Hygel Go 2 Pro. You know this mini PC looks like a combination of a tablet and a computer, because it has a built-in 5.5-inch multi-touch display and a built-in battery that provides up to 5 hours of working time on a single charge. As for the computer's features, it has an Intel processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, Windows 11, Linux or Ubuntu operating system to choose from, and many connectivity options, including USB Type-C, USB 3.0, HDMI, LAN, headphone jack, SD card slot, etc. Let's test this mini PC and find out what it can be used for. The mini PC comes in a very simple white box. It only has a sticker with the model name Gold 2 Pro and the slogan Make a different mini PC. Opening the box first, we see the computer itself. We will take a closer look at it a little later. There is also a power adapter with a removable plug and a user manual in the box. You may notice that the power adapter has a USB C connector. This means that the mini PC is powered by the USB-C port. That's good! By the way, the manual is also very short and simple. But who actually reads it, right? Talking about the design of the High Goal Goal 2 Pro. First, it is much smaller than other mini PCs that we have tested earlier. Its dimensions are 142 by 92 by 22 mm. The weight is only 340 grams. It is a really compact and portable device that is convenient to carry around. It is about the same size as my smartphone, but twice as thick. By the way, since this mini PC is designed to be portable, it has a durable aluminum alloy housing. It also provides better heat dissipation. There is a screen on top of the mini PC, but we will talk about it a little later. There are only four rubber feet on the bottom. The side panels have many ports, such as SD card slot, two USB 3.0 ports, 3.5mm headphone jack, USB-C, DC 12 volts, LAN, two USB 3.0, HDMI, USB Type-C, and power button. By the way, we can see ventilation openings under the ports, as well as on the left side of the mini PC. The High Goal Gold 2 Pro has a cooling fan inside. I cannot take apart the computer right now, but I can show you what it looks like inside from the official video. We will check the fan noise and temperature a little later. So far, I like this mini PC. It is compact, lightweight, and well built. Now let's turn it on. When you turn on the computer for the first time, you need to set up windows such as selecting your language and region, connecting to a Wi-Fi network, and so on. So my mini PC runs on Windows 11 Pro. This is the official operating system, because we can find the activation code in the settings. There are also many pre-installed programs from Microsoft on this computer, such as Edge, Browser, Windows Store, Word, Excel, etc. We will check them later on the big screen, because I don't think you can see very well on this small built-in display. By the way, the display has a diagonal of 5.5 inches and a 720p resolution, 1280 by 720 pixels. You can control the system via the touch screen. I like that the operating system is adapted for touch screens, because when I turn the mini PC over, the orientation changes from portrait to landscape, and vice versa. Overall, the screen is not bad, and the 720p resolution is enough for its size. You can watch videos on the go. However, I would recommend connecting earbuds via 3.5mm audio jack or a Bluetooth, because the built-in speaker is quite weak. Listen to this.
from other side, this screen is not suitable for work, because tapping text or doing something else is not really convenient on a 5.5-inch display. It is better to connect a second monitor to the mini PC via HDMI port. In the settings you can choose to duplicate the screen, extend it, or even use only the second monitor. Now we can check the performance of the mini PC. The high goal Goal 2 Pro is powered by Intel N5095 processor. It is intended for desktops, but it is quite old, from 2021. Its clock speed is 2.0 GHz, while the turbo speed is 2.9 GHz. The typical TDP is 15 watts. My mini PC also has 8 GB of DDR4 RAM and 128 GB of MMC storage. However, you can buy it with 16 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. It seems that the 512 GB version even comes with an SSD instead of EMMC. The manufacturer claims that it uses EMMC memory because it is more energy efficient than SSD. The power consumption of EMMC memory is only 0.76 watts, while the SSD is 1.75 watts. Ok, now let's check the typical and maximum TDP of this mini PC. So in the standby mode, the processor is loaded at about 30%. The TDP ranges from 2 to 4 watts. If we run the stress test and load the processor to 100%, we will see that the TDP has increased to 9 watts. It seems that this is the maximum TDP, not 15 watts as stated. Remember I told you that the mini PC has a built-in fan, so it runs almost silently in the standby mode, as the noise level is about 38 decibels. But when the processor is loaded at 100%, we hear the fan noise, about 46 decibels. However, it is still quiet compared to laptops or even full tower computers. Ok, we have finally come to the benchmark tests. First, I want to check the read at the right speeds of the internal memory. As expected, the EMMC storage is not very fast, 292 megabits per second read speed and 219 megabits per second write speed. The next benchmark is called Geekbench 6, and here we have 476 points in a single core test and 13, 33 points in a multi-core test. I also ran other benchmarks, such as Passmark Performance Test, PC Mark 10, Cinebench R23, and 3D Mark, and the mini PC has quite low scores in all the tests. Based on the benchmark results, this mini PC should be very slow, but in reality, I don't see any big problems with everyday use. Yes, it doesn't start up and open programs very quickly, but overall, there are no glitches or slowdowns on it. Moreover, I can even try playing some games. I downloaded a few games that are not very heavy, but quite popular, such as Asphalt Legends, Code of War, Angry Birds 2, and Sunset Bike Racer. Let's please them a little without my comments.
You know, all the games start up and work pretty well, especially Angry Birds and a Bike Racer. Asphalt Legends is the most demanding of these games and it has low graphics. But if you really want to, you can play it on this computer. In any case, this is not a gaming computer, so let's try running every day and office tasks on it. First, let's check the maximum supported resolution on YouTube. We can select 4K and the video plays without any problems. It runs really smoothly. I also tried to open 10 tabs with videos. And overall the computer handled it, but uh, there were some slowdowns. I think it is better to limit yourself to 5 open tabs. Overall, I think this mini PC is great for watching movies, and you can connect it to a large monitor and watch movies or use the small 5.5 inch screen on the go. Mm. My baby's gonna be born six weeks early. I was born six weeks early. Oh, shit. I wanna know what. I also found that it is a good mini PC for office tasks. It already has Microsoft Office programs pre installed, such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc., and they run without any problems. In addition, its compact size, a built-in touchscreen, and built-in battery allow you to use it on your way to the office, school, or college. By the way, talking about the battery, I have been testing this mini PC for over an hour in various scenarios, such as watching videos, running benchmarks, and playing games. And during that time, its battery level has dropped to 38%. It says that the battery will last for 39 minutes. Overall, 2 hours of battery life under heavy usage is a good result. I think you will get up to 5 hours of battery life if you just watch videos. So the Highgirl Gold 2 Pro is probably one of the most interesting mini PCs that I have ever tested, not because of its specs and performance, which are pretty basic, but because of its built-in touchscreen and battery. I like this idea, because you can use it on the go, and when you arrive at the office or home, you can connect it to a large monitor and continue using it. I would like it to be a little more powerful, but for basic tasks, such as watching videos, typing, and surfing the internet, it is sufficient. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!